What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today, me and the Marsman crew are reviewing episode five of the Last of Us TV show on HBO. And boys, we are, I'm actually really intrigued about this episode. And, I, and like always, we like to do our own little non spoiler section at the very beginning where we just discuss our feelings, our impressions, and our ratings. And then we have the second half of the video is going to be our spoiler discussion. We go dive deep into all the major topics and events that happen throughout the entire episode. So let's start with the non-spoiler section. And I really just want to get your guys' impressions. My impression overall in the very beginning, I felt like this was a very good episode. I thought they had a lot of conflict, a lot of uh, great dialogue between the different characters. Obviously, we see a lot more of uh, with Henry and Sam. And I thought that they did a great job with that with those characters. They uh, had they had some changes from the games, which in, in most part usually that gets people a lot, a lot of people nervous about what they are changing. But in this episode, the changes they made I thought were pretty solid. Like they didn't they didn't deviate in a bad direction. I felt like any changes they made were like relatively like pretty stable. They were they were fine with me, and I thought that they had a good job with uh, you know kind of humanizing these situations. And then obviously we'll talk about in the spoiler section later on, but they had some pretty epic moments in this, in this episode. And uh, I, I, you could tell that they were building up to this episode from, from the last one being as short as it was kind of just setting the stage for what was going to happen next. And they landed on a lot of the key things I wanted them to see. And at the end of the day, they, they kind of stuck a lot with what the lore of the book, I mean, of the, of the book of the game of what really happens. And, you know, I, I was a big fan of it. I thought they did a great job overall, but I do want to get your guys' impressions, then we'll give our ratings. Um, Haki, I want you to go first here. What was your impressions? Yeah, my impression was that uh, this is this is a great uh, episode. This was actually my favorite episode. Um, it gave me everything I wanted. It gave me the conflict with, uh, you know, human-to-human -human conflict. It gave me the uh, infected conflict. You know, we're not going to spoil anything here, but it gave you everything that you, that you thought The Last of Us really uh, was. So, um, I, I thought it was a great, a great episode back on track, a continuation of, of being back on track and, and giving the fans what they want. Yeah, man. And, uh, Angela kill. Well, I know you're feeling a little bit sick right now, but you, you kind of stuck it out for the, for the channel. What were your impressions of this episode? Yeah, I, I, I agree with, with hockey. I think this was the best episode so far this season. And, um, you know, they just kind of gave you everything you wanted, where it was the dialogue, the bonding between characters, and then the conflict, human to human and infected. Um, and obviously we get introduced to a new infected. I won't go into the details of it, but that all wrapped into one episode. And then finally the trauma, right? So they always like to introduce trauma into these episodes as well. They did, you know, wrap it all up and kind of shoved it down your throat. And it's just a good episode of television whether you're a fan of the game or not. And Haki hasn't played the game, so um, both sides fans of it, and I think they did a really good job. Yeah, so I think overall, all three of us are in agreement this is a great episode, but the question is going to be, where do we rank it amongst the rest? And, and this really comes into a place, our ratings. And I've been in a really tough spot here. Uh, I think overall, the first episode and this one, to me, are either mirrored, identical, and my favorite episodes of the show so far, I'm like on that par debating on whether the first episode is my favorite or is this one my favorite. I think my first episode, I gave that one an 8.8. .8. If I would do anything different and this one, a rating wise is either going to stay. I think I might give it that little bit of boost over. I might give it a nine overall and make it just past that 8.8 .8 because I think there was a more action. Did you here. underscore it? You underscored your first episode? Is I, that what you think? I, I mean, if I was gonna if I was gonna change anything, I probably could give a nine overall for the first one. But I, I'll stick to my eight point eight. I think I'm I'm being realistic there, and I'll give this one a nine. I think this one to me, it stuck to the lore. It stuck to the way that the, the game had it, like the story, the messed upness that happens in this episode is is it's brutal at times, right? And they even have obviously the new dynamic of the characters like Kathleen and Perry. Like you, you, all that stuff is new and it does give context. First episode to me was one of those like just awesome starts to a show that they did everything that you wanted for the lore and they added some context that was actually really, really well done. So I would give this the the leg up because of the fact there was more action. There was more conflict that happened here and they did a great job of the dialogue between all the different characters. And it was very symbolic overall. Um, but I do want to get you guys impression uh, your ratings overall. So mine's a nine. Angelica, what is your rating here? 
Yeah, I think this is the best episode we've seen so far. I'm at a 9-4. Um, I actually like this second episode better than the first one. Slightly. I think the first one was good. I gave the first one a 9, I believe. The second one a 9.2. And this is a 9.4 uh, for me. Um, just because, number one, they stuck pretty closely to the games. I know there were some differences. But like you said earlier, I thought the differences kind of made the episode work well. It wasn't a step in the wrong direction and it wasn't a deviation that, you know, didn't make sense, like a reason why they didn't do it. So um, even though there was slight deviation, I thought, again, really strong acting job um, outside of and it's not a bad acting job by Kathleen. I mean, we'll go into it. It's just that it's hard to resonate with her uh, just because she always has that same tone of voice as, mm -hmm. as kind of this crazy dictator but we'll in, this, in this spoilers. episode she didn't sound as bad like the first yeah, the first time i met her it was tough so on her. soft tone you're just like okay yeah, i was tough on her last episode i she did definitely she definitely did a better job in this one no question um but pretty strong uh acting performance you got some of that action that that i wanted and some of that conflict and they just kind of really present the last of us message uh again so uh, 9.4 and Haki, what do you think, man? What's your rating you give for this one? Yeah, so this one, just like Angelica, this one is at the top of my list. Um, and, you know, I talked to my boy D-Rob, talked to you guys. I know there's more episodes. So I don't want to give this such a crazy high score, but it is a 9-6 for me. And I know there are other episodes coming out, and those episodes might be better. Um, I don't think any episode might hit that 100%, but... This was a nine six for me. It had kind of like Langella Kill and, and you said too, it, it had the dialogue. It had, you know, the dialogue and it had both bonding between Joel and Ellie, bonding between uh Sam, um, and it was Henry. And Henry, and then, yeah. It had, yeah. It had, it had human conflict. So this was just a great episode for me. And um, right now it's at the top of my list. Well, guys, that's going to be it for our non-spoiler reviews. And make sure if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. What do you think about The Last of Us Episode 5? Drop what you think in the comments below. You can join us on Twitch. We do our live streams daily, at least three days a week. And you can join us on all of our socials, all those located in the description below. But stick around. Next, we have our spoiler discussion where we talk about the major topics of the entire episode. So stick around. We're jumping to spoilers. So, guys, spoiler discussion here. And I, I said this in the first half. I think this is a fantastic episode. They did a lot of great things here. Major events going on following the book keeps in the book keep following the games they keep following the lore of the games and kind of the pacing of what i wanted to see with other episodes right they did it, they had moments of silence moments of slowness moments of tension moments of action right and that was really what you want to see an episode like this where it's always something going on and even the time to slow moments always have something important right and i think that is what made this episode so good for me and if i'm going to talk about i'm going to kind of review the key things that go that's going to happen I had a feeling that they were going to take a good chunk of the episode over the flashback to kind of just say, how did we get to this point? And I was glad that they didn't focus on too long of the episode to make it a flashback because I was fearful that it would be so long that it would overshadow most of the episode, but they didn't. So the flashback was basically talking about how the Hunters basically took over against Fedra, and it was that moment when they finally had beaten Fedra, and now they're taking over completely. Kathleen starts interrogating all the, you know, the conspirators, the people who are rats to the to Federal against the against the hunters. She really wants Henry. Um, you can see how brutal she is with everybody. Like, oh, just kill them all. I, I they, they gave me what I needed. Just wipe them out, burn the bodies, like all that stuff. She is making him the top priority to the point where it's like she's out of her damn mind. Like, and, and granted, you can understand that, like, that's what Last of Us does a lot of times. You can understand the perspective of the the quote unquote villain. In this scenario because i say that with quotes because it's all about perspective from kathleen's perspective she's trying to get revenge for her brother right and he, like and in the previous episode they even said he said that you know her brother michael said hey forgive henry forgive sam like that it's you had to do it right for for the, for the reasons that henry needed to get medicine for his brother and that you find that out later on that basically his brother had leukemia and he was gonna die and he needed to kind of rat on michael to get like it's a big name, the leader of the hunters to get medicine to save his life. And Kathleen wasn't having it. She didn't give a damn about it because at the end of the day, like that's her brother. And it's like, it's kind of like a, my brother versus your brother who's more important. And obviously that's kind of the key thing here. But basically what we find out is that Henry and, and Sam are on the run for a while. They worked with the doctor. 
They need to get out of the city and the kind of a, they only had munitions for 11 days. The doctor gets caught. We kind of saw what happens to the doctor in the previous episode. He gets capped. But Henry and Sam need to, they need to get out of there, right? And that's where they they were able to sneak past the trap they, it, by, that was set by Joel with the glass. And they get Joel and Ellie by gunpoint. And at the end of the day, like, you know, Henry had no intentions to, to fire upon Joel. Like, and you find out later yeah. on that the gun wasn't even loaded. Uh, yeah. It was just, it was a bluff. Try to get them to at least chill out. And, you know, they played right into it. And essentially their plan together was that Henry knows a way out of the city but he needs Joel with the firepower and the, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, the being as good as he is with a gun to help get them out of there. Um, and basically the idea was that they need to get into the tunnels and just go outside the city lines, get past the highway and they're home free. And basically the idea was, is that all the tunnels are clear, right? They, Cause Henry knew the a soldier that he worked with and they said, yeah, all the tunnels are clear. They cleared them out years ago. And uh, let me tell you, the one deviation from the game is that when you go into the tunnels, they ain't clear, dog. They are filled with those infected, and they're embedded throughout the entire damn place because um, that was a pain in the ass part of the level to get by. And that's where they kind of changed some things. Like it kind of felt like they just walked right through the tunnels, and then they're outside the. They, 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 although it's it's working right, and and the whole plan that they're going to place, they find like the secret stash of like where people were, all the kids were hanging out. Like, and they, they kind of were talking a lot, and that's where you find out about, you know, Henry and Sam, like, kind of their little backstory about how Sam was basically dying. Henry had to do these things. Like, he, because Joel doesn't trust Henry, because he, he's like, I don't work with rats, right? That's like, that was like a thing that, that he even had issues with. And then he's like, listen, I had to do what I had to do, right? You, you would understand that situation. Like, would you do the same thing, right? Would you, would you rat out somebody to save someone else's life that you care about? And, you know, it kind of—it's an appealing thing that probably most people in that situation would probably do that, right? To save a sibling, right? To save somebody they care about, and so basically, like that's where they kind of connect a little bit. They have good dialogue between, obviously, with with Ellie is connecting a lot with Sam. They're not that far away in age. I mean, you know, what six years apart? Possibly like eight. Yeah. yeah, six years apart. Not that far away, and it's like you know, you're starting to see that connection that's going on. They finally, you know, and and what's interesting is that. Uh, this is the scene where you see Kathleen and Perry talking and Kathleen's just like, I can't forgive Henry. Like I'm going after him with everything I have. And, and Perry's like, Hey, we support you no matter what. And, and it kind of solidifies that she's the leader as much as she's outrageous and nuts with her, with her plans. You know, he's got her back and so is everyone else. So they're going after him with everything they have. And and so when they finally get outside city lines, you know, everything's all, just like last of a style. Everything's going great. There's no issues here. Everything's perfect. The plan's working well. They get stopped by a sniper, right? And the sniper, it, this type of this scene is exactly like how the games always were. Like you always have to do this dodging, get to dodge, get behind cars, get around. They made it look so easy compared to what, what the game game way was. But the sniper was was pinpointing, um, and then Joel finally gets behind him. You know, like the whole thing was like, hey, listen, don't do it. I don't like don't do it. And then he turns around, pops him, takes a sniper, and then at the very moment. That's when Kathleen and the hunters arrive, and uh, Joel Joel does that. That uh, you know, we were joking around. It's like the Mandalorian shot. He uh, he pinpoints, snipes the driver, crashes the car, and you're like, oh damn, that was that was a nice shot. It took, it took some a few shots to get there. It took him a couple. Yeah. It took a few shots, but you know, he got it. And the um, jam sniper. He also sniper jams. 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 Like oh no, I get jammed. Oh, he's trying to snipe it, whatever. Um, and then we get this confrontation where Kathleen, you know, shows up and she's like, it's over, Henry. Like, it's over. And Henry's saying like, hey, like, you know, like I, I had to do it. Like, you know, the, he's going to like let the kids go. Let them leave. And she's like, no, they're all you're all dying. Like, that's just at the end of the day. You're all going to die. And it just it solidifies her as just, she's a piece of trash. I mean, that's just kind of what it is. And so, you know, he's going to give himself up. He's like, listen, you guys get ready to run. I'm going to I'm going to die. But just go. Right. And as she's about to cap him. All of a sudden, that's when the truck gets dug into the ground, and you knew right at that moment. You're like, "All right, well, it's about to get hammy in here." Like, and and everyone kind of knew. Joel knew, all the soldiers knew, everyone knew that it was about to get really bad. And just like, uh, it kind of like, it kind of remind me of, uh, you know, HBO since the uh, you know Game of Thrones has that like the undead army. It remind me of like the undead army just sprinting out of there. Like, they didn't have that many infected in one part in the <laughs> like the Last of Us game. But that reminded me of like a the age like a Game of Thrones style. In fact, they're just running out of there, and it was a, it was a firefight. Everyone's fighting just to trying to survive. Of course, Ellie, Ellie, it's like Ellie fashion. She gets she gets targeted by like 
every infected like gets looks at her and now joel's gonna start sniping this is different from the game obviously so this is like this is like an action pack scene that you would see in like a tv show the game didn't have this part um but basically joel's sniping every uh, infected protecting her she gets chased by a a kid version of a of a clicker you know like, in the car in the car which, which was cool. pretty intense You're like oh my god like <laughs> it was pretty intense she gets out of there and then you see sam uh, sam and he uh, henry getting attacked by the car they saved their life and they get out of there and of course like you all of a sudden you see the bloater show up right and the bloater obviously they did a great job with the bloater obviously yeah, you know, it's, sure. it's animated whatever at the end of the day like uh, it's actually a 19 pound prosthetic there is some cgi to it, it but it's a man yeah, wearing it's a 19 a giant, pound like a giant, like, yeah it's a, it looks yeah. like a freaking bloated dude they did a good yeah. job because like it, it they it looks just like the bloater from the yeah. game the only thing i kind of um i kind of wish they they had a little bit more of now granted i the rest of the show they probably could have these this part later on is i do want to see more fighting against the bloater because as much as bloaters are like rarer like infected they are they are seen more often right in the game so yeah, i do want to see more, them more clickers so we did get yeah. more clickers here yeah. but yeah, yeah we got the i think they wanted to showcase the bloater to show for the first own, time you know, and, and stuff like that but yeah. he just he just yeah. straight up just rips Perry's head off like like hey, get out of here <laughs> just rips which head is off, a, like. which is which was funny because it's a it's actually a kill scene with a bloater uh one shots you in the game that's one yeah. of the kill scenes it's that's one of the ways that off. you die they just rip your head off yeah, yeah. so they, so they took they took that part from it Kathleen yeah. gets out of there and then they she she holds everyone at gunpoint and then she just gets jumped by the uh by the clicker which I was just like you had a feeling like i think i think everyone called that she was about to get clapped by an infected like like when you see hold them i thought up, it was gonna be the bloater but it was a yeah it was a, it was a kick like i thought, I was like, I thought the clicker was yeah. gonna show up behind her and just like just clap her but but yeah it, it just it just it was the clicker they jumped her they get out of there and you're like oh wow like they survived it was a pretty and you're like wow kansas city screwed like they all started sprinting tw towards kansas city they were done though um i think they should have if I was gonna make any criticisms of that scene, I would make it where like the they, the crew's got to get out of there because infected or like swarming that. Like it felt like they just sneaked away and they're just like, oh, we're good. Like and they just like jog away, like while everyone else is getting jumped. Like it's like you know the infected are spreading in that whole area. So I would have liked the scene where it's like they they were escaped through like something to at least like hold them off and then they got away. Like got got away really. Like she maybe Kathleen gets attacked. Like she couldn't get away at the same area as them. She gets jumped and she gets attacked and then they get away. You know what I mean? Like it was just kind of like, oh, they just like everyone forgets about that one area and they just walk away. But they do get away. Kind of shows some like calmness. It's the last, you know, maybe last five minutes of the episode. So you're like, oh, if you've never seen The Last of Us, never played The Last of Us, you probably had a different, like I know Haki, you've never played the game. So you probably had a different mentality going into that last five minutes where you're like, Wow, this is a resolution. I guess this is a pretty cool moment. And uh, obviously, Ellie and Sam, you know, they're reading the book, whatever. Joel offers, hey, listen, we're going to Wyoming. You're more than welcome. And then Harry's like, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely come with you guys. And and it was like, hey, wow, we're going to form a crew. But me, me and Angelica knew, like, what could possibly happen here. So then Ellie and Sam are talking. And, and you know, the line that, that Sam says to her or writes to her was that, like, if, uh, if the monster takes over, is, like, the real, ins uh, or the, is the real you still inside? Like it was, I think that was like kind of a paraphrasing of the line, but it was like, yeah, if, the, if you turn into a monster, is it still you inside? It was, it's a good line. It's a, like it's a good, it's, it's a, a good line. line because it's basically, a, and then she looks at him and then he shows that he's been bitten and you're like, oh no, like this is, this could be really bad. And then there was a part where I got real nervous and I, where she basically, she's like, oh, well, I'm the cure. And she cuts herself to use her blood to try to rub it on the wound, thinking that, hey, I'll heal her. A uh, heal Sam and I was like, no, don't do this because it didn't happen. I, that did not happen in the game, from my recollection. But that that scene got me real scared because I thought if Sam was healed, then it would have been a completely different change from the game, and I was about to just like poop my pants because I was like, dude, that you can't do. Th this was so great, and I thought that they did that, and I was like, no, don't do this. So then the next morning, you know, she's like, hey, you know, uh, Sam, you're right, he's infected, so it didn't happen. He get he attacks her just like in the game. Joel tries to stop and like Henry stops him and then like he ends up shooting Sam to save Ellie. But and this is where like the th the theme of this whole thing is out is crazy. Hen I see this Lynn Jill kill Henry 
never killed a person before ever right and the only person he's ever killed was sam right if you really think about it like and so that's where it's like the deep like oh my god like he kills sam and he just can't take what he just did and then he kills himself right and then they bury him and and obviously you can tell how deep this this impacts ellie right because she's hurt she's, she tried to save him and still didn't work and she just feels distraught and she's like we, we i just want to go like let's just go west and even joel starts to feel like you know like and this is what they said in the director's cut like um like neil drunkman said like you know this is the moment where you start to see like like joel fears like what would happen to ellie like, if that was if that was him in that scenario like how he might be feel impacted because of that and that was and that's true like that that's kind of what the scene shows you and that's why i looked at this episode and even last episode uh not two episodes ago that's what i want to see with with last of us it's about joel and ellie and that connection that's building there and showing you the 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 contrast the mirroring the reflection that it is on other people like the dueling because every a lot of times in last of us is always about they show a dueling two people like connection right and it shows you what could happen if things go wrong right what could be the reflection on joel and ellie if these if that happens to them right and that's like when i looked at this episode the henry sam story is a messed up story but it's a great one because it shows you like exactly what could happen to like between these two people and what how that impacts them so i think overall it was a great thing i want to get your guys opinions before we before i talk again about it but um so hockey what was your because you're brand new to the series so the, you were you were watching it you sent us a text like dude is it really this messed up that the stuff happens and uh so i want to get your feelings about this story uh how'd you feel about it yeah man my whole body hurt after watching this episode <laughs> my head hurt i had to like take five minutes and just think about you know the entire episode uh in a whole but like i said it had everything that i wanted it had the dialogue it had the story it had conflict um it showed you how you know henry saw uh joel you know in the beginning fight uh the hunters so you know henry knew how to get out of the city but he needed joel to help him get out of the city i thought that uh, kind of backstory was was pretty cool. You saw the bonding between Joel and Ellie, which obviously is very important. You even saw the bonding between Sam and uh, Henry. You know, signing in, in uh, ASL, which was which was a difference from the game, which was really cool. Um, you know, the again, what it really gave me is it really gave me that conflict. Obviously, my favorite scene was um, everything that happened. Um, you know, at the, uh, like the infected scene, you know, in, in the outskirts of the town, you can really see, you know, how important family was to Henry trying to save Sam, giving up Kathleen's brother. And then you can see how clouded Kathleen, uh, Kathleen's judgment was. Uh, she put everything aside to go after Henry. So that message of, you know, family's everything is, is also in there. So they had a lot of messages. They had the dialogue. They continued the story. The infected scene was amazing. You know, I was hyped to see the bloater. He was, you know, badass. And yeah. like Angelica said, you got to see a lot more clickers as well. Um, so that whole scene was amazing. And then, yeah, at the end, um, I texted you guys because I, I thought it was a little weird that Ellie was trying to heal uh, Sam. I didn't. I, I assume that wasn't part of the game, um, but yeah, that whole scene was just super messed up. And like it, you know, it it impacted me more than when Joel lost his daughter. Like I thought that scene was more messed up than when Joel lost his daughter. And when Joel lost his daughter, I was like freaking out. So um, I mean, this was like I said, this is by by far my top episode. It had every single thing that I wanted to see, uh, and I and I hope. You know they continue i hope the story continues as as the game does because I, I can only imagine the the story uh and and uh, you know how good it can be yeah yeah and uh langella kill what did you feel because you, you mean you both you know played and we've seen the game we both stories so we know what happens in the game and yeah. uh so what was your feeling about this episode yeah i mean you know we talk about there's there's a lot to compliment this this on. And even when you know you mentioned that you were nervous when Ellie was doing that kind of cutting herself and and putting her blood pretty much trying to give her blood to to Sam. I actually think because you know obviously if it went a different way people would have been upset. But what it does is even keeps the gamers on the edge of their seat because like you're wondering like wait a minute are, is she going to heal Sam? Right. And then it ends up being the ending that we thought 
like we, we originally thought it was going to be. Yeah. So like they keep even the gamers like me and Mars man kind of at the edge of our seat wondering, did they make a change here? Did they, are they sticking to the story? So it kind of brings the table for a lot of people. And I can, I can, you know, I can imagine uh, what Haki went through and a lot of other people who first time watching this because it is an absolute gut punch um, playing the game and seeing it. So I like, I, like I'm ha not happy because it's so sad, but like the thrill, the highs and lows that a first person watching this, I can imagine is pretty, pretty devastating. But the infected part was so good. I love the bloater. He looked really good throwing people around in that first two. And then Perry kind of just trying to give him, take, you know, take one for the team, I guess. <laughs> he did take one for the team and he was trying to just put bullets into him. But obviously it takes a lot more. Anyone who's played the game, it takes a lot of firepower to take down a bloater. And I like how they added that detail, right? Where they did that kind of kill cutscene when a bloater gets his hands on you in a one kill situation, he'll rip your head off. And that's yeah. exactly what he did. Um, just strong. Again, they've done a really good job with details and with acting. And, and you know what? I know it is not as high power. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of like thrilling scenes. They kind of do it in, uh, in a strategic way. But it hits because of of the strong dialogue and the strong story and the characters. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, at the end of the day, like, I understand that you can't always just copy and paste game scenes into a, you know, in, into a, a movie or TV show scenario. Because so just funding alone, you need to have a lot of money to to pay for those actors and the blow the animations. And so yeah. I get that, right? Uh, that is, I learned that the hard way with the Halo show about you know trying to take a, a thing that had a lot of a lot of those epic moments and try to put it into a show and not having the funding to do it yeah i get that completely and yeah and Halo show and it's just a, it just shows you again like the halo show had stranger things budget you yeah. know what i mean so like it, it's not like it got no money that just shows yeah. you how much investment has to go in that kind of stuff yeah and the thing is is that with with the way they did it i am perfectly fine with how like like I've gone more used to not having infected be a big part of the show, even though like in the game it's they're way bigger, right? Especially the yeah. first the first game, the infected are way more involved. In the second game, which the season two seems to be mirroring after the second game, that's where the groups of people are more dangerous than the actual you know infected, right? But yeah, I, I'm I get it. That's why they're not having as much infected into this game. It's more about the people conflict. That's fine. I'm not even against that. And I thought that they they kind of pass through things a little faster than certain certain areas that that's not the biggest deal sure would i have liked to have more of like the tunnel aspect be more of that that horror infected part of that story that that chapter be embedded with it sure but that if you're gonna skip past that and then have like an epic like kind of gunfire infected scene afterward that's fine i mean that's that that it's not that big of a deal i think you gave more time to give to give context to characters like kathleen which I thought you, you know, that was the kind of the point. Like most of The Last of Us is about perspective and how people look at, you know, yeah. what's good versus bad. It's really about who you are in this scenario, in this story that makes you good or bad. And they they keep emphasizing that every single se every single chapter. Yeah. It's all about, it's, are you good guy in your own story, right? And that's kind of the key thing, right? And that's super important, except for, you, for people who have not played the second game. That's just the entire theme of that game is continuation of that going forward and that's why i'm expecting for season two to follow in that same idea but the whole thing that i am now I, so let's let's talk quickly about the preview of the next episode because next episode looks like it's they they kind of skipped ahead of past like two roughly two chapters right it, this is that's kind of like the thing that because what basically from the game and I, I looked back at the chapters again there from two chapters are basically joel and ellie getting through certain scenarios like in the tunnels or in the past the outskirts of the of the cities trying to travel their way to get to wyoming right and basically um there it looks like they're gonna skip past those two and kind of just quickly get themselves to the, the the stronghold in wyoming and you see in the preview that joel finds tommy right that's how they prep up the episode right and well obviously i don't want to give spoilers i know what happens but key thing is is that that's what the next episode is focusing on kind of that connection built again between tommy and joel and all that stuff that's going on there there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff that happens though there's technically remaining what four episodes left of the there's season four left yeah four left of the season so now it's so the we're question, beyond halfway 
Yeah, beyond halfway point. And now the question is going to be, you know, how do you pace the last four episodes? Like we saw that you spent two two episodes on this chapter we just did. Great last episode. This episode was a great episode. Last one's a good build up. But I do want to see how they pace this, right? Because th that could be the big question of there's a lot of stuff still left to have to happen, right? And my only hope is if you're going to do episodes, they should at least be an hour long each, right? To, to at least know. fully encompass everything that good that happens in the remaining of the game, right? Don't, I don't want to see any more 45 minute episodes like that. That You can't do that right at this point. You have to have an hour long each. If anything, even have above an hour. Like at the end of the day, like there's so much stuff that has to be happen here Everyone's to really hooked. give it credit. Yeah, it's a great show. I can, I can it's just use another gotta, two yeah. 80 minute shows. I could use and another let's, two. <laughs> let's let's focus on like the. Let's not focus on like well, love and like let's let's get I, to the I, I nitty have gritty. A feeling here. I know what the last four and I think it kind of the titles kind of give it away. Yeah. Um, next one is obviously meeting up with Tommy. The next one is the DLC left behind. That's fine. Um, That's then fine. the following one I'm at is the outskirts of the hospital, which I don't want to give any spoilers. No, that's that's the a other good group one. that they run into. And then the final one is the final one. So yeah, um, I think that's how the four are going to go. But I, I agree with you. We know the pacing is going to be faster because there's only four episodes left and how many chapters are left. So we know that's the issue is how yeah. how can they tow that? How can they walk that that line right there is is going beyond getting it just right or rushing it too much because they can't slow down at this point. There, there's too much going on. Yeah, listen, I think that they they can really land this last four episodes really well. If they pace it right and they follow in the chapters, if, if they're following in, it, it, you're completely right, Angelica. If they follow in the chapters the way you said, and it looks like based on titles, they are. If they follow in those and they're all at least an hour each, they're going to have a great last four episodes of the season, right? I mean, that's going to be the, the each of those last four chapters can be fantastic if it's done the right way. So that's going to be a question that we have for a different day. And I am planning on doing kind of like my own analysis of how last of us has really mastered at least, per, per, at least done a better job at re of adapting games to a cinema compared to some others. And what made them, so damn good at doing it compared to some other ones I've discussed before on the channel. I've actually had a whole video analyzing, is it possible for gaming shows and TV and movies to be able to actually be good? And uh, the criteria I mentioned, it's it looks possible. like Last of Us is actually doing the things <laughs> I mentioned. Um, so I want to do uh, another analysis and kind of make some comparisons here. So that will be uh, another video that I will be making. So please make sure you go check out the channel and hit that, like, that thumbs up and subscribe so you can get notified when I drop that video, as well as others on the channel. We do these reviews every single week, but there's a lot of other things going on on Mars Man Gaming, so you can always go check that out um, on, obviously, the, the channel itself. Go check us out on Twitch, where we do our live streams at least three days a week, and obviously, I want to hear your uh, your overall impressions of this episode, especially on the, the spoilers or non-spoilers. You can always just drop that in the comments below. Join us on our socials, all in those comments in the description below as well. This is going to be it for us, guys. Marsman here, and I am going to be signing off for the day. Peace out, guys. <laughs>